my god. Let me just karate chop the mic. <laughs> That's that? going in the video. It is, dude. It's, I started everything. <laughs> <laughs> Right, What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Street Beans podcast. I'm with my boy, it's former and Z. How are you guys doing today? Yee! What's up, baby? Doing good. Uh, we are, uh, this is off the rip, you know. We're coming in with some cool topics today. Maybe, maybe not. Hope you guys enjoy the podcast. <laughs> um, we recorded one <laughs> two we days recorded. ago. <laughs> I I messed up. I messed up, and I want it on the record. I'm going to say it in the video, all right? I apologize, not only to Tom and Z, but to you guys, because you're missing out on one of the best podcast episodes we've done yet. Um, I know. I'm supposed to be playing Siege right now. I pressed start recording and didn't press stop recording, and I turned off my PC because I had to go do something, and there goes the video. An hour and, like, five minutes of pure, raw content with great topics and energy it was just great, man, and it sucks that it we lost it. it. We lost it, dude. I mean, it was off the rip last time. Oh, I, I <laughs> fucked up. We yeah, I fucked up twice because I don't know if I said this to you, Tom, but I didn't have the VOD on yesterday for the tournament, so that's gone Yo, too. Oh, is that a lost video? Were you gonna? Okay, were you gonna make the? I was gonna video chop in... it up into like the best like. Yeah, I was gonna say best highlights, and that uh, whole time I was thinking about like, I wonder how former's gonna. Edit this I was so excited. I was so excited to bring in the three-hour video and just sit there and chop for a day and just upload, and <laughs> yeah, then that gone. was it. It's gone. Speaking of which, Rex did a really good job on that. Fire. I talked to him off stream. Fire. I'd like to get him yeah. to do the next one. Yeah. It'd be lit. It'd be cool to have two people doing... Commentating? So the problem yeah. is it's hard to record the two cameras and get them both yeah, up on the thing. Like, it's doable, hard. but it's like, I don't... Yep. I'm not familiar with it. It's something we could look into, for sure. I think it'd be uh-huh. really dope. What do you think you're going to do for the next tournament? What's in your mind? I don't. I want to do a different game, but I, I worry we won't be able to get people to play. Do you know what I mean? Yes. That Okay, so I was thinking about that. I was like, how cool would it be, you know, to do like a, a Stream Fiends like Siege Tourney or Warface Tourney uh, so or something like that? The way it was so easy to do with Vigors because it's solos. I can get one person yep. and that's a team. But if we do Siege, I got to get a team of five, a team of five, yep. a team of five. Yeah. The thing or is, Rogue, I'd love to do a Rogue tournament, but then yes, I got to get a team of four, a team of four, a team of four, and it's... It's difficult. Like, I could post something on Twitter, but I think I'd get, like, three teams. You know what I mean? I could definitely get at least one team. Yeah. I know a team. Um, But the other thing about Vigor is, like, it's such a great community, and, like, we have arms in the community. That's what um, I mean. And we know a lot of of people in the community. There was a really good idea brought up to me by Trivium Champ. Triv, if you're watching this, brother, what's up, man? Thank you. Shout out to Triv. Um, He had a great idea to do a Vigor partner only solos tournament, and we do it on the test server so it's guaranteed Mm. that every time we queue it's a lobby full of competitors and only competitors and i think that would be dope to see everybody playing against each other i think that'd be lit would you would you do it like a kind of more of like a battle royale or like i mean or like high kill see i don't know i thought about that we could do like a battle royale thing i thought about it um i thought about doing three games Mm -hmm. in that in that server right you die you wait till the next queue time um and you get a certain amount of points based on where you place, and whoever has the most points after those three games okay. is so like a normal turning. Kind yeah. of, yeah. Yeah, like a, a normal battle royale. Like, point. there is no extracting. Like, you yeah. just accept that you're going to die to radiation, die out to radiation, because there's no really way to know if there's anybody else on the map. You know what I mean? Yep, everyone's going to be packing iodine, that's for sure. Yeah, so I think that'd be cool. I think that's a good idea. I'd love to go about that. It's going to be... I, I'm going to... I'm. I was about to say it's going to be hard to get in contact with everybody, but seeing as I have access to the Discord, it's... Not. Yep. Yep. Z, what you been up to, brother? Quiet. Let's get you into say, it. What games you been playing, bro? So you playing Witcher? Played today. Witcher. Yeah, I played Witcher three on stream today. That was fun. Yeah. It was what a blast. Is, yeah. What is the Witcher? I don't even know. Keep it hundred with you. Witcher is um, so it, I'm trying to think of a game that it's like comparable to. Um, I think of it like Skyrim. Yeah, in a way, it's kind of like Skyrim. It's like a third person over the shoulder kind of Skyrim esque game where you can like go and loot pretty much everything in the world and then yep. like utilize different stuff to equip like oils and potions and all different stuff that does different like damage types and things like that to um, different type of enemies and all that kind of thing. It's like a blend between Skyrim and God of War. I don't know if you know what god of war is yeah i yeah, heard of it i know i don't know much i know about they it, have but... um 
they have a they have a Witcher series on Netflix. I know that. Yeah, and it's fire. It's good. Have you? I like it. I, I can't yeah. get into it because I haven't played the game. So like I want to. I don't the think you really need to play series. the game to though. In really? all honesty, no. Like I, I I didn't play the game until after I watched it all. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I, like the first. Like I watched like the first five minutes and I was like, "What the hell are they talking about?" <laughs> and I was like, "It is kind of confusing, but once you get through like the first two episodes, like a lot of the stuff is kind of summarized, so then you kind yeah. of like have an idea of what's going on. And after that, then it just kind of like spirals and goes on its own, on, like kind of on its own storyline. Mm-hmm. I guess it apparently matches with The Witcher Three, which is what I'm playing now, but I'm not entirely positive. It might be before or after." the witcher 3 takes place i don't really yeah. know i don't know too much about the witcher um i just know that my buddy was like hey you have a ps4 now you should go and play these games because you do single player sunday and i was like all right bet and so like i just got done playing god of war like last month or something like that on stream so then we went into witcher 3 and so on and so forth like i got a bunch what games of different you, games what games did you like start out playing like what when I first started streaming, yeah. it was uh, well way back, way back, like whole kid. Oh, as a kid, oh dude, yeah. like I like started. Let's see, I started on PlayStation. I don't know which one my dad had, but like I remember playing like the Frogger game or whatever the hell yeah. it was. Uh-huh. Are you up across the street? Yep. And like the real like prominent game that I remember playing was uh, the Spider Man game. And then mm-hmm. I kind of like started branching out and like the first console that i owned because my mom got it for me for christmas was a gamecube so i was playing like oh, metroid dude. and all of that Bro, stuff man like, I, I was to, playing so many games i had a friend in elementary school i would go over to his house and we would play wwe whatever the hell the year was at that time yeah. on his <laughs> gamecube oh man i used to think it was the shit bro yes dude, i used to do that all the time too my cousins gave they had an old GameCube, and oh my god, they probably gave us 300 games with this GameCube. The GameCube didn't work, so I have I have two siblings, a brother and a sister, um, and we went out and we ended up getting a a GameCube. Okay, I was about to say, I was like, how the hell are you playing these 300 games? They gave you us 300 games and no working system. I was like, yeah, yeah, dude, no, like seriously, like that's how it, like the like the system was like breaking down. We had like rapid and electrical tape. This, they were going to college, so they didn't. They were kind of oh, getting yes, rid yes, of it. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And um, they're way older. Um, but holy crap, I used to play Need for Speed, Mario oh, Party. Yes, um, I love Need Super for Speed. Super Monkey Ball. Uh, all those games, dude. Just so many classic games that, like, yeah. when I think back on, like, I'm like, holy crap. And then they ended up wanting it back for their frat house, so we had to send the whole GameCube back with all those games, and I'm like. Dude, if I had that today, like, like I wasn't big into gaming back then, but it was like a, it was like a large part of your life, yeah, you know. Right. If you start out like when you're younger and you get into video games, like it's a it's a huge chunk of your life because when you're younger, you have so much time to play video games. Yeah. But nowadays, yeah. dude, if I had that, holy crap, would I be like in my room playing hella these party games? Because like that's what GameCube was. I mean, you plug in four controllers and you play Switch with your friends. Hell yeah. That's what I we did. I loved Luigi's Mansion, dude. That was like that was my shit on the GameCube. Really? Luigi's I, I Mansion? Oh, for sure. And then then when they started like releasing information about the new Luigi's Mansion that came out for uh-huh. the Switch, I was like, oh, I'm totally gonna go and buy it. I still haven't bought it. Uh huh. I I, I, just, I I haven't had time I to. Get a Switch. I can't. I can't get like build myself into getting a Switch. Logan, yeah. what did you start out playing? I'm curious. What like gaming wise? Yeah, my like, very first, experience? first ever exposure to anything gaming related was a Nintendo 64 at my cousin's house. We'd play Donkey really? Kong uh, on that. That's fair. And then my first ever like, well, and then and then I had that that friend <laughs> early like middle early uh, early elementary school where I would go play GameCube and we'd play whatever on there. The only one I can uh-huh. actually remember is WWE. I'm sure there were other games, but um, and then my first personal like actual uh, system that was my own was a PlayStation 2. Yep, I had same. a PlayStation 2. I played same. this game called Big Heads. Oh, I think it was called Big Heads Baseball. I think it was mm-hmm. that. There was a game called Supercar that no one can remember other than me for some reason. The disc was blue. Like, it's like the silver part of the disc was blue shaded. Dude, dope as oh, shit. Okay, so I think I had a game like that, but it wasn't Supercar. I don't remember that game at all. Yeah, well, but, um, it was Supercar. No one can remember it. 
It was like a like like a pre Forza, like you know what I mean. I remember looking. That used to be my favorite thing about gaming was all the disc art, like the art that was on top yeah, of the discs, bro. and like the cases and everything. Like nowadays, you know, you get all your games online. Like right. I can't, remember, like I don't own any discs anymore. Digital. It's all on my external. Uh, I used to have. I do. I used to have like a pet peeve, like my disc had to be a hard copy because I wanted to see the long array of games stacked on the shelf and see yeah, like the uh-huh. names on you know what I mean? There was something uh-huh. about leaning back, pulling one off the shelf, putting it in, and then I don't know. Yeah. Filling that gap yeah. that you just made with the with the other game you just pulled out. Yeah, bro. Oh, for sure, dude. I had a bad habit of losing cases, so we had to buy a lot of those sleeves, like the little, the little uh, sleeves to slide the disc in. I had a horrible habit. Dude, yes. I would bring like it over to a friend's cases. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would bring it over to a friend's house, leave the case there, leave the disc in the system, and bring it home. And, well, that case is gone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's unfortunate, dude. Like, literally, I think we used to have movies in them. Like, we used to have large cases, like books, like six a page. Right, right. Six discs a page. Like the CD holders. Like movies. Yeah, CD holders. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy to see how far I've come from the PlayStation 2 to streaming with a pc playing xbox at the same time it's like yeah. i used to think that console crazy. and one controller was a lot of technology now i'm like holy yeah. shit you know what i mean it's crazy to me um i know it's i got crazy. a topic i got a topic i want to talk about because i'm fucking soaked about it like just the mere thought of it brings a smile to my that face hit me with it. i brought I up the stream fiends house to my girl <laughs> mm. green fiends house what? yes bro z have we not told you about this yet no. Okay. By 2023, I, it was originally 2024, but it's becoming more of a reality now, seeing as we're pushing content out at a very good rate. I, I like, I'm having a blast. Stream Fiends House 2023. We all live generally close to each other, minus like mod, right? Because yeah. that dude is just Canada. I mean, but that even that's not that far. It's just not because we live so far north. But oh man. Dude, the thought Things of things are cheap. We were talking, we were talking about like cities and like what cities we like we could make the house in and and who would be there and who we'd bring in. Um, mm-hmm. It was dope, man. Just the thought of it, the mm-hmm. mere thought of it. I think we talked about it in the first episode for like thirty seconds. We 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 ta- we touched on it, but like, <laughs> I this the thought, man. It's just dope. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's something. I know Dude, that's, that's something Tom dream, is something is into, but. Um, that's always been a dream of mine. Like, I don't know. Like, Space House, like, growing up watching that. <laughs> like, that's always been, like, Facts. oh, my God. This yeah, is you're like, talking this is... content on days if you have a stream house. That's what I'm though. saying, bro. Because, like, like, you don't have a video. All you would have dude, to do is just plug in a camera and just let it roll. Walk around the house. house. That's it. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Because yeah, uh, be stupid shit would be happening all the time. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I, it's, I want it so bad. And we talked about it. It's not that hard. If you have enough people in there, right? That can bring in. It doesn't even need to be a big income. If you can all get part time jobs, right? Just and just put a little bit into the rent. The rent will be cheap for every person if everybody's chipping in. And because you don't have a full time job, you can focus so much more time on even, content creation and streaming and you know everything else that we want to do. It's just like brother it's there you know yeah. what i'm saying and i feel like everybody I mean, says yes yes i want to do it yes i want to do it but when it comes down to it it doesn't happen see that's yeah. not me if i want to do something it, that shit happens you know what i mean i mean we wouldn't be here right now if that didn't if that wasn't the way crazy. it worked, you know <laughs> it's oh man i mean if you have a 1200 dollars rent split between four people that's 300 dollars a month right exactly and a paycheck from mcdonald's I mean, is you, not even dude like, 400 you do day trading like stocks and you make 300 dollars a month off stocks you don't even have to get a job yeah i mean it's like you gotta pay for food though and utilities i guess but, but i don't know man there's it like, all works down to so many other things split up between of course it would probably be more than four people i would assume oh for sure it would be more than four people so be. it would be less oh, we yeah. each have more money i don't know man it's just good i mean the more basically the more the merrier right no you're right for sure more content less rent less you know everything speaking more food though speaking of the more the merrier i pack yeah we signed a new player last night to stream fiends i pack he's a streamer uh also kind of got his little boost from the vigor community is slowly branching out talked to him last night uh his link will be down in the description now because he's part of the roster hella cool um i also signed it we signed a designer to stream fiends genesis uh, his link will be oh. down in the description. 
Uh, he's getting paid, and and, <laughs> and we're happy. We're getting designs. He's getting money. It's a cool little. It's a cool little thing. So Tom, you know what that means? That means you were talking about getting overlays and shit. Badges. We got it. We're cool. We, we get. We good. So there's that. Oh. Yes, he's a hell of a designer. Um, oh, I'm so excited. I've known him for a yeah. while now. We competed back in Blackout together. That's when I first got to know him. And then I found out he designed, and then I slowly seen his designs getting better and better and better and better. And, um, yeah. oh man, you guys haven't seen it yet. Talk speaking to the viewers, but there's a merch ad you'll see go up in the future that's absolutely insane. I think it's the cleanest shit I've ever seen in my life. That'll go up. It'll go up on the Instagram and the Twitter. Um, oh man, I'm excited. I mean, it's kind of crazy, which. like you said. Oh sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. I was I just gonna say. Speaking of which, that's just code like, fiends. <laughs> well, not only that, I thought about it. Now that we have him, we can do like, like I'll talk to Eternal Brother, like limited edition merch, like like put it on sale for Dude. a week. If only two or three gets sold, it's almost like it's better in my head. Because yeah. like later down the road, if you have one of those two shirts that were sold when we did our little startup shit at the beginning, I you mean, know what I'm like- saying? That's, that's like supreme now. That's what like I mean. People dude. who have limited edition stuff, like it's worth yeah. the money. It's dope. Um, like you said, how you met him back in Blackout. I think that's crazy because the way gaming works and networking with gaming. I mean, you meet people in games, you meet people in parties, you met people, you meet people through Discord. Right. Like I think about meeting you, Logan, and I think about how much of a miracle it is. Like literally. It started from me going to Sinister Swift um, chat when he was playing Blackout to one viewer. Shout out, Sin. I was literally doing like you talked about last time we were doing the podcast, how um, you switched the... uh, You switched the filter on Twitch to go from the smallest viewers at the top of the list. I'm telling you, since we weren't able to put that video out, I promise you you want to do that because you're going to find the most raw streamers, the best gameplay. I promise. (laughs) Go ahead. Keep going, Tom. Keep going, bro. And first name pops up, Sinister Swift, dude. I go into his chat. This is back when I had maybe – I probably had – I don't even think I was affiliate yet, and I was doing for follows for follows. You weren't because when, when I met you, you weren't affiliate yet. I remember you sending me a picture yeah. of you getting affiliated. So this is definitely, this is definitely, yeah. So I was still doing follow for follows at the time because I was trying to get to 50 followers. Right. And I followed him, you know, and I stream and stream and we talk. And he was doing, he was doing, um, that night, his title was for every follower I'm doing a shot. And oh Jesus! <laughs> I had like I literally at the time I had like eight spam accounts that I knew all the passwords to, so I logged into all these accounts. Bro, and I kid you not. You know I what's funny? Him. Did you when you when you were in his chat doing this? <laughs> did you tell him the other accounts were you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I was gonna I say because if I he watches you. this and he's like, oh. "Motherfucker, I got smacked that <laughs> night because of one person." Yes, <laughs> but that's you know, so funny. When think about it, I would have never found Vigor. Because he started streaming bigger, and I saw him have like you know, eight to twelve to twenty viewers at a time. And you're like, oh shit! I'm like, I installed it. I was like, <laughs> this is the I'm first step. In this, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> and then the bigger tourney happened, like one of the first bigger tourneys you hosted, former. Right. And my this, title was. This is funny. My title was, "Where's my invite?" The day after. Bigger. Okay, so the very yeah, first yeah, tournament I threw was crazy. Like, 38 people in it, duos. It was, it was honestly the coolest shit that I think Vigor's seen to date, if I'm going to talk my shit for a second, right? Um, <laughs> it was dope. I was It was so fun for me. It was so fun for everybody. Nothing but good reviews. The point system was perfect. It was like, mm-hmm. it was good. I log on the next day to see who's live before I go live because I will stream Vigor if the people I don't know are not live does that make sense so yes, yes. if if sin's I mean, live if sinister swift live and drake's live and everybody else is live i won't go live right uh but if if there's not many people that are live that i know of I, I'll, I'll go you know what i mean yep, um yep. i don't want to take anybody's viewers i don't want anybody to feel pre- you know what i mean it's just like it's different mm-hmm. um but i went on to see who was there before i went live and i saw this is the first time ever 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 that i heard the name or saw tom right Tommy Taco 10. This is when it was Tommy Taco 10, yes. Um, <laughs> Way back. And I, his what? title was all <laughs> his title was all caps. Where's my where's my tournament invite? I clicked I've never clicked on a stream so fast in my life because it's like 
obviously is referring to my to tournament that yeah, I started. That's crazy for you. Right? I'm like, about damn, that. like this kid knows about my tournament that I started. That's yeah. dope to me. That's crazy, dude. Um, it was to the point where it was so big and unknown in the Vigor community that I would load into a game and people would text me over Xbox. Like these random, obvious Xbox generated names that like no one, like random people in the community saying, how can I get into this tournament? And I was like, happy cloud 98. Whoa. Yeah, dude, something crazy. <laughs> and it was just like, the second I jumped in there, I was like, look, people loved this. I see you want it. I know other people want uh -huh. it. I'm going to throw another one. You're invited. Get ready. And that's when we did the solos tournament was the second time around. Tom was in it, right? Tom was in it, me, obviously, but I was in a party with Hodak that day, <laughs> and you had joined the party, I think, or you messaged him on Discord or something, and because you needed to fill a spot. Oh, uh, Hodak Conrad, Hodak. REG Conrad. That's right when he what stopped it? playing, he paid for three spots and said, fill them. And I was like... And Thank you. Like, Hodak. that's dope. That's huge. That's how Hodak got into the scene, dude. That's how then, Hodak uh, got in? That's how... Oh, God, there were two other people. I think Maximo? Was it Rabbit 5 Yellow? And Rabbit 5 Yellow, yes. I hit these people up. I was like, <laughs> look, I know you guys want it in. I, I remember seeing you in my chat. You couldn't afford it. It's open. It's free. Take it. You know what I mean? Yep. And I think oh, that's... he went live. I remember it now. I think that's Hodak the dopest shit ever. Live. Because he was, he was like last-ditch effort because me and Hodak were in a party together. He was right. like, you know, I'm just going to go live, bro, because I really want to play in this tourney. And... He went live, and then you came in his chat, and you are like, yo, do you want to play? Because he was one of, like, everybody else was, that was streaming was in the tournament. Everybody on that page had hashtag Vigor yep. Tourney in that title. Everybody <laughs> on that page. Because that's when then, it was like I was getting as many people as I can. But now it's like an uh, overwhelming thing. Like, I capped this one at invite only because there was no entry fee, right? And people are still like, where's my invite? I had 10 people in there to start. I had a list of 10 people I wanted to invite, and I was worried. I wasn't getting them. It was two days to the tournament. I had eight people. And I was like, yep. what's going on? And then within the next two days, I think I could have made that another 30-man tournament, and which is Probably. crazy to me because of how far Vigor's come and changed and the community's changed. It's wild because the names I've had in this one were not the names I could have had in the first one. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's uh, yep. Oh, man. It was quite... Do you remember legit. the game you played after hosting that 20? I do. I do, yes. So um, <laughs> you and Hodak went to play something else. And right at the end of the tourney, I, I Tyler was waiting all night because I don't know if you remember, but Tyler and Caleb were a team in or were in the tourney. Um, Caleb was yes, getting surfed. Do. Tyler's I'm the cyborg. If you guys are watching this from first the, game, from my first shirt. game, I played on battery do rag. I dropped Tyler's ass <laughs> yes, with bro. the ADR. Dude. Yeah, and like um, I didn't even know who he was. I literally at the time I thought he was like a young kid. Like right, I didn't even no. know who so, Tyler was. It's funny because I'm gonna say this out loud and I shouldn't obviously the whole time I'm, I'm casting these tournaments you should be by like you shouldn't have any bias i want to see my boy win i want to see tyler win yeah, so i was yep. casting him first to keep it 100 percent honest with you and i watched you slap him and i was like holy shit this is the kid that a week ago had where's my tournament invite in the thing and i'm yep. like wow we really missed out on an opportunity here and i was like that that right there was when it set the stage for oh shit tom is in this tournament Right, because because Tyler's yep. a pretty good player, and it's crazy when you see a good player get smacked by another player. That's no disrespect to Tyler, but it was pretty bad. I was like, "Holy yep. shit!" I remember it. Right? Dude, it was on battery. I oh man, it, it was like crazy. But anyways, you asked about the game that we played afterwards. Tyler and I love Blackout, so we went to play Blackout duos. And next thing I know, I think it was Tom. It might have been Hodak, but I'm pretty sure it was Tom. I think we were both in there. I don't know something about chat. it. You sent me a chat. You were like, "Yo, you want to play quads?" And I was like. Originally, I said no. When you first said it, I was like, I, I don't know. I think we're just thinking duos. And I was like, Tyler, what do you think? He's like, I don't care. I was like, fuck it. Let's play quads. I was like, yeah, I'll play some quads. And then that started everything. That yep. night, we just got to talking about everything. I was like, damn. I'm going to keep it honest. I saw you two as kids still. Not that I'm much older than you, but it's different when you don't play with someone. Oh, for sure. And you see him as another player. It's like, I, I honestly didn't think that night would have went anywhere. But after that night finished, I was like, yo, add me up we'll play mm -hmm. more i was like these kids are dope like these guys are dope you know what i mean yeah it's like no disrespect sure. it's just you never really it's weird because you never expect friendships from your first yeah. night playing games it's merely you you don't yeah well, i mean you usually most of the time you play with someone new they add you and you add them and then you guys never talk ever again right i mean that's yeah. usually how it goes down <laughs> I mean, it's I that's why I thought no, Literally, like dead yes. serious Z that's what i thought was gonna happen with former i was like all right he came in 
he subbed. He's like, all right, let's go and play some sometime. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, damn, he's probably gonna flake on me. Well, so like the we, I probably like the next. What was it like? The, literally the next day, the next I sent day. you a message and I was like, hey, uh, when are you when are you free to play at some point? And then I was like, shit, he's probably not gonna respond. And it, immediately it was like, boom, let's go. Right, so no, I, I, I let's go I and do it, was... it this day. I was like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> yep. And that day comes and people flake, and it happens every time. Yeah. But no, I would like. I'm a, like when it comes to that shit. I'm not scared to tell you I don't want to play. I'm not scared yeah, to tell somebody either. I don't want to play with you, especially if I'm streaming. If I'm streaming yep, and yep. I'm playing with a homie and we're having good duo time, and you come into my chat saying, "Can we play?" As much as I literally love you for being there and supporting my channel, I'm gonna say I'm no because I'm having dude. a good time. And if I'm having a good time, it's making good content. So I'm it's like way, I gotta keep that up. But no, and it's funny you brought that up because. I remember having a sp like the exact conversation the first time we actually played Z. You were like, "I'm surprised we're playing." I really am. And I was like, <laughs> "Brother, I told you we would." You're like, "You're like, I know, but but this it happens all the time." And I agreed with you. I know exactly what you're talking about. It happens. Yeah. People are like, like a, I think I want to say like the very first day that I played Rogue, which was probably only a couple days before that, we played against this one kid. I think his name was like Bluey or something like that. But he was all, he was also on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, but he plays Rogue like all the time and everything. And he's and he was playing Phantom and he was just slapping my team like he was just clapping everyone because um, he was like really fucking good. And not only that, he was playing on PC. It's a lot easier oh, yeah. <laughs> ADSing with the sniper on PC. But that not taking away from like him being a good player as phantom now that that statement was made i need no mouse and keyboard defensor defenders in the <laughs> comments saying but y'all have aim assist thank you we get it move on <laughs> but yeah so like i i messaged him i was like hey dude like literally anytime that i got an open spot you're more than welcome to come and play with us right he's like oh yeah for sure and so like the next day i saw that he was live and i was i was also live and we were looking for a fourth person and so, like, I sent him a message, and I was like, hey, dude, like, you, you're playing alone. You're playing with a bunch of randoms. I see that you're getting pissed off because you're playing with a bunch of randoms. I was like, if you want to come in and play with us, feel free. You know, like, it, just send me a message, and we'll we'll get together and everything. Didn't hear oh, no, a damn dude, word from off, him. Man. I'm sorry, man. I'm like, I didn't off. hear a damn <laughs> word from him. So I was like, all right. So I went into his chat, and I was like, hey, man, did you get my message on uh I think it was Twitter. I think I sent him a message on Twitter. And I was like, yeah, did you get my message on Twitter? And he's like, oh, yeah, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I was like, oh, yeah, man. All right, man. And, and I just dipped out of his channel. I was like, I'm not going to go and waste my time to like, yep. you know, like, yeah, you're Trying really good. Someone. Yeah, I was like, yep. you're good at you're good at Rogue. It's becoming. We need a fourth. Like, right. I, I don't understand, like, why it's so. Like, I understand some people are, like, really weird about, like, meeting new people and right. stuff like mm -hmm. that, especially, like, over or, like, online, just purely because of, like, the world that we live in now. Right. But, like, at the same time, it's like, you're. Like, it wasn't, in, uh, it wasn't like I was inviting you to be, like, oh, yeah, dude, like, where do you live? I'm going to come pick you up. We're going to go to this tournament or something like yeah. that. No. It was like, exactly. hey, dude, let's hop into a party and play a couple. <laughs> right. It's becoming. I do it's becoming more of a norm almost to not reach out to people and yeah, it, yeah I, I saw sure. this I saw this on Twitter uh, like like a month or so ago like I and I won't forget it because it resonated negatively with me I saw it it said something like it was a post that said uh, it's it's becoming more and more frowned upon to say no which is like why like everybody yeah. you're entitled to your strong answer so the fact that he didn't respond to you saying yeah nah man not tonight or i'm not really interested this time around like maybe yeah another that time. was the part that instead just like... you had to go into his chat to finally get yeah. the answer it's like crazy to me because he probably felt guilty to say no which is weird yeah. to me. like just tell me you know what i mean exactly mm -hmm. like i don't want to sit there and like waste more time trying to find a right. fourth like when i think that you know you might come and play with me and then like i've had it happen to where like i built with me and my personal friends like i have you know a set probably like six people that i usually play games with and like i'll go and be yep. like all right y these three guys you guys want to go and play and then one of them will be like no i don't want to play so then i go and ask the other two and expecting one of them to say no and then they don't say no and then now i have five people for for me and team on rogue and it's like that's the worst feeling ever like saying yes. oh yeah dude sorry like we, yeah. we already got three people and like that's a, that's not the type of person that i like to be so like that's why i try just settle for one person and like inviting somebody new you know what i mean yeah i don't know <clears throat> that's i mean 
Go ahead, Tom. Growing up, I always played video games by myself because for the longest time, I played Xbox 360, um, and I never really had a headset. I would always play with like TV audio, so I never joined parties yeah. <laughs> and I never played with friends or like any of that. And like still to this day, I I have this thing for playing like multiplayer games that you would usually play with a team by myself. And I don't know, I find like peace in it because I'm not like video games is almost an escape. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's no, a personal real. thing yeah. that I enjoy doing by myself sometimes. And like when right. I feel like doing it by myself, I'll do it by myself. And most of the time I won't even be like streaming and I'll just be on Xbox, you know, playing yeah. by myself with no one, just maybe listening to music or, you know, slapping some dumpsters on siege like i just enjoy <laughs> playing these games like by myself dude. well that's one thing i feel like if you're a streamer it is important and very very crucial that you find time to play video games off stream off stream by yourself with your friends yeah. you can say things yep. you can't always say you can oh, yeah. play different oh, ways yeah. that aren't fully focused on content you could sit back and relax I yeah. had the idea the other day, and it's funny because, like we said earlier, the second I get something, I'm very, not impulsive, but, like, I, I don't sit around and let things come to me. If I think of something I want done, I get it done. You know what I'm saying? So I thought yeah, about it the other day. Yep. Yeah, I thought about something the other day. I want to get a small table that I can put at the end of my bed and put, like, a like a 32-inch TV. Like, I play on monitors mm -hmm. all, all day, right? All Everything day. I do is right on a here. monitor. But I right want to put a 32-inch TV at the end of my bed that before I go to, like, after stream or, like, while I'm laying down in, down in bed, I can play a, a story game or I can play, like, mm -hmm. a play, like, you know, play different games that intrigue me, whether that be, there's a game, it came out a while ago, Among Us on the PS4. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to yep. play that. Um, I bought a PS4 oh, specifically to play it. Literally bought Jesus. a PS4 <laughs> just for that game. And then I have yet to play it. I own it. I That's just haven't cool, played it. Guys. I've played Fall Guys. Don't come at me. I've no, played I'm Fall Guys I twice. I would personally buy a PS4 just to play that game. But it's on you PC. Just buy it. It's on PC. Yeah, I was about, about to, to say. Oh, PC. Yeah. It's, PC? it's funny because Z has it too, right? I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, I got Fall yeah, Guys. Dude, dude, that would be a pretty banger video. Just a bunch of Fall Guys. I really haven't played it that Total much recently, right though. I haven't either. But I'm to I love playing it. Like, every time that I play it, I have a great time. But it's just like... It's one of those games that you need to play with people. You have to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, I can I mean, see that. If you have it's, it... just, it, it's so much easier to bounce off of each other. Yeah. Like when you're when you're playing that game specifically. Like if I'm playing it by myself and I'm streaming, you know, it's like, oh man, like you know that that shouldn't have happened or whatever. It's but like lot. when it's <laughs> like when it's your buddy running next to you and he accidentally bumps you and you slide off the thing, you're just like, you motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah, it keeps the energy going. Yeah, I don't know. It's like you can play solo, but I, I almost kind of need it. I need a chat to play solo. Oh, I need to be able yeah. to interact with somebody. Um, yeah. But like you said, it's 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 more like there there's more there's more opportunity for fun funny moments, and I, that like spices yeah. up the game a little bit if you're playing with people. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of games like that. Like Tarkov is fun, and I'll sit here and play it for hours on end, but I can't play it on stream because I'm so indulged in it. It's like I can't pay attention to chat at the same time. And stuff like that. So yeah. when I'm playing with somebody else and it gives chat something no, to watch No, I totally it. feel that. Like, yeah. I never thought about that. But that's exactly the reason why I don't play Tarkov. Well, not not only purely just because of the fact that, like, I can't focus on chat while I'm playing that game. But it's also, like, not a whole... There's, like, there's a very niche group for right. Tarkov. Right. Like, if, if you're not into, like gun customization or anything like that like right. you're not going to be watching tarkov and Ooh. if you like the person that you normally watch like for me for instance like i bounce between rocket league battlefield 5 um the witcher Rogue company the witcher now. like yeah and then oh. now the witcher because of the single player so it's like when you're when you're focused on that stuff like you're not going into like the nitty-gritty and like oh you know this this handle grip affects the ergonomics of this right. gun in this way which yeah. affects all of this that and the other thing and like if i'm sitting there like i can go and explain that right but like there's not somebody on the other end that's like oh this is actually really helpful i you know? personally am not that indulged into those topics which is why the game is more difficult for someone like me so it takes mm -hmm. more brain power yeah, and same. and, and no, focus same. indulgence to to play it, which is why I, I like sitting here off stream. I can take my time, read the attachments, what they do, yeah. you know, stuff like that, and, and and put it on and do that. But 
I, nobody wants to watch me sit here in the menu slowly picking yeah. out what gun and building a gun I want to use just to just to lose it because I'm not good at mouse yeah. and keyboard. I think there's definitely like I have a lot of people that love to watch me play COD, mm -hmm. and then I have a lot of people that like to watch me play like Halo. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically the same game, but there's a very like a lot of people don't like to watch Halo because they don't play it, and a lot of people don't like to watch COD because everybody plays it. Right. And yeah. the game, a game like Tarkov is almost such a slow game. Like it's, it is. You know, it's you sneak very around slow. Yeah, and no. People don't have the patience to sit there and watch, you know, you hide right. in the bush while like people want to watch a fast paced multiplayer yeah, right. game on Call of Duty or, you know, a fast paced Warzone game on, you know, um, 40 minute game of Warzone. Who That's actually really funny that? that you uh, brought that up because I was watching, um, God, what's his name? His name's Clean. He plays Tarkov mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. He's like a huge gun nut because he was like in the military and all that other stuff. So he knows like everything about it. Right. Um, and he was playing it the one day. And I think this is really interesting because like pretty much every single game, like if you look at any game, it's, it's, it's exactly the same formula. But he was talking about how people will come into the chat and be like, Oh, you're a camper for just like slow walking up a st like staircase or something like that, so you don't make noise, so then it's, people don't know that you're coming up. It's so much different. You have to play Tarkov to understand it. why they play. Yeah, like that. yeah, exactly. People don't understand it. And like, so he was doing it, and he like dead up. He he just stopped. He stopped what he was doing, and he's like, "All right, before I ban you." <laughs> like yeah. this is the way that you have to play this game this isn't like a game where you literally just spawn in and you get to go and run and just like shoot people and then like if you die you die and you come back like no that's not how this works you lose all the stuff that you have on you and it's by like right. it, that's that's just how it is and he was explaining it and then he was like all right bye and then like somebody else came in and was like, I don't know why people always have like this tendency to go and do that and say that. And he's like, even when he goes and plays COD, he still plays it like kind of tactical. Like it's not like he's going and like just laying down in a hallway waiting for somebody to come around the corner like you would normally do in Tarkov or whatever. But Take he's your like, slow. yeah, exactly. Right. He's like, there's people that have different types of play styles. Like for me, for me personally, when I play COD, I have an extreme running gun. Oh, for sure. Uh, like mindset. It's yeah, different. That's just with, how I play. It's different with a respawn type game. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's 100% but different. But then when, when I go and play Rogue Company, it, it's a completely different. I watch like flanks. Like I watch the flanks or I'll go and flank myself. Like right. that's just the way that like it, it depends on the different aspect of the game. Or I guess like the different genre style of the game. Yeah, genre. Yeah. There you go. Right. I don't know. It's just like really like I just noticed recently like how toxic a lot of the com communities are like coming out to be now like i don't right. know if you guys have noticed that like uh, for rocket sure. league especially I, I will rocket say this league especially is so bad right now like <laughs> i was terrible i was playing the other day when i was playing with you um we were playing with dead right and the dude on the other team he was like oh ttv by the way ttv by the way like no one's gonna watch you give up on your dream and it's like bro like why why do you have such a negative attitude like it's something that somebody goes to do and enjoy hide. like it's that just happens, hiding behind uh, the screen that happens yeah, even no, when that happens even when tyler and i play and i don't see i don't know if you know this but tyler and i have a team on rocket league my clan tag i don't know if you saw what we were playing is plp stands for peace love and positivity our team name is literally peace love and positivity they can see it on the scoreboard yet talk shit <laughs> anytime yeah, no, something happens it it's is, like dude. brother it's yeah. crazy to me. I, think it, I, I, think it I just don't do understand with, it. I think it has a lot to do with the competition that comes with gaming. Um, yeah. And people love to shit talk. And people <laughs> love to freaking... Like, when you get beat... I know in Siege, dude. Because they're spectating. Um, if, you, if you don't like... If it's a 1v3 and you don't clutch... Oh, that person's trash that he didn't clutch. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, right? there's such a... But when it gets down to it probably they couldn't clutch either you know what i'm saying yes yeah. there's a very um bias like everybody thinks they're the best kind of aspect yeah. to gaming and once you can kind of step back from that and become less toxic about it it's so enjoyable and like you kind of see everybody for the gamer they are and that's what i've kind of started to do um i love going into game chat 
especially on blackout dude alcatraz oh my god i love going i was literally doing that yesterday i was going in there <laughs> the, uh, talking to people the carrying death, squads the death sounds like you know what I'm talking about? Like when you kill somebody, you can hear them for a split second. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what, chat. Yeah, that's yes. one of the best things. Yes. Well, it's not necessarily proximity chat, but oh, kind yeah. of. So, dude, yeah, yeah. speaking of proximity chat, chat, Vigor needs proximity chat like oh, PUBG yeah, did. Dude. Back. Bro, you imagine there's somebody sitting inside and you're outside. You're just like, yo, I know you're in here, brother. Like, let's just do oh, what we need God. to do. Heck yeah. <laughs> there are so Heck many yeah. good clips. And proximity chat makes for so many. I feel like it's... It's better for your game. If you say proximity chat in your trailer, I'm sold. I'm in there. Yeah. I don't even care what I the mean, game's about, bro. I'm in. I mean, Ninja is such a popular game, like, streamer, and, like, he's basically a public figure, but if you look at some of his top clips, I mean, you all have seen that clip. Well, no, that's oh, literally yeah, yeah, yeah. what it was. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, no, that's where on, he... That top clip. Tell yeah. About the best content. Yes, man. dude, it's That's funny. where he started. Yeah. That's literally yeah. where he started, and then, like, once he picked up... um. Once he Fortnite. picked up Fortnite, and then more and more little kids were coming, he was like, "Oh shit!" Like now yeah. I gotta, I gotta tone down. Right. I gotta become well, family friendly as much as much as I can. I'm sure that had a big impact on it, but I, I think a lot of the reason he's family friendly now is because. And uh, fast forward to today, he has days where he, he is, is like, it's known like today is not a family friendly day. Right, well, he has night streams. Yeah, right, right, right. Late night, but, late night ninja. Yeah, I think one of the big reasons for the change from you know whatever he wants to. To the thing is, yes, obviously different different people and different ages are coming in, but I think it's more or less yeah. like numbers are coming in. He's starting to get brand deals, and I think when brand oh, deals yeah. come into the picture, then it's like, all right, because you're under, well, you, you're representing them. You know what I mean? And yeah. the spotlight is so on you. I mean, I know when I rage and I'm fucking shit talking to someone, dude. <laughs> like I'm just I'm just going off. There's no break. There's like, no break pedal. When you slip up, gone. And like. It's yeah, like you can get canceled in seconds because right. your whole you have there's no like YouTube, there's no like cutting it out. It's right. all on there. It's yeah. live. When you try to limit it as much as you can, it brings down the likeliness of slipping up and right. It's yeah. having that's one of my weaknesses. When I die after like you know, if I'm having a bad day, bro, I'll let it fly. Like sometimes oh, I just get so frustrated. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, nothing. Knock on wood, but nothing has said, nothing has been said or anything that I regret to this day. Um, props to uh, Kino. Kino was in the tournament yesterday. Kino was running, and we were casting it at the, uh, yeah, we were casting it at the time. Kino was running the best game I've seen played of Vigor in a very long time. It just seemed really? like everything was going his way. Yeah. Everywhere he looked, there was another person to kill. He literally got like six kills in a matter of a minute and a half. And it was just Love like... Everything was perfect. Bard House was around him. Com Station was around him. Signal was around him. Everything point wise was going textbook. And then the crate came down, and he's like, he let his leniency up for one second, and there was that guy. There was a guy at the crate that took him out. And yep. that game would have 110 percent been the best, probably not, if not perfect points uh, when it comes to the point sheet, right? Probably the best yep. game you could have had gone there i saw it my controller would have went through the damn wall and i would have been like that would have been it he just goes gg and leaves I starts think, the next one i'm like brother that's like crazy that's my, but that was in his hands you know what i'm saying like if he played it slower he right. would have i feel like i rage more when it's out of my hands like when the game screws me over i'm the exact oh, dude. Or something. dude Dude, when I get mad. I'm the exact That's opposite. If mad. something happens really? that I mentally could have changed, but I didn't, I'm pissed with myself. If it's something that the game does or like something RNG related, it's like, well, there's physically nothing you could have done about it. That yeah. was bound to happen no matter what. But if it's something I did, like I shouldn't have pushed or I pushed here instead of doing this or I shot when I shouldn't or I missed, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm even more mad because like that's on me. I messed that up. Nothing else It's like, damn. You know you what know, I mean? Yeah, I think. I understand what you're saying though tommy where it's like it, for instance like apex was really bad with it for a while like the rng is rng like there's nothing oh, you yeah. can do about it right. like how you were saying but the hit registration was trash for right. like i think just after season two or something like that and dude when i was trying to play it like i kept dying when i was like behind rocks and stuff like that and i was just I was not having a good time. Yeah. I was letting everything fly. <laughs> yeah, because like, it's out of your hands. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like you can't. I feel like when I 
I've started to watch kill cams now. Like forever, I never watched kill cams because I like to see and I like to see my mistakes and where I could have done better. And then I implement it into the next play. You know what I'm saying? Like the next game, you know, right. the next gun battle. And I feel like that's how you really get and become a better player is you notice your mistakes and you fix them. I mean, it's the same thing with life. Right. You fail, you get back yeah. up on your feet, and you make the better choice or you you make the better decision. It's like, it's the same thing, but, you know, it's... <laughs> when it's no, out of my hands, I let it fly. Like you said, like, when I die because, I like, the game lagged and I fell off the side of the map, yeah, my monitor's broken. I mean, <laughs> it's... <laughs> that's how it goes, you know. What I'm saying? I don't know. Like, it's yeah, it's my different. Fist is through my I, monitor right now. You know, I've actually never like I I like I've raged a lot from video games, but I have never broken anything. I wish like, I could one say the same. Two controllers, three headsets. Um, this desk is beat to shit. I never had I a problem you, oh. with my headsets, but my controllers were always first thing to go. When I was in college, right? First off. <laughs> I'm not saying a name, but fuck that place, all right? The dorm rooms were terrible. <laughs> concrete floors, concrete walls, everything's just blah, right? That concrete wall, though, was my best friend when it was time to oh, throw yeah. a controller. Because let me tell you, watching that shit blow up like a firework when it hit the wall was what I needed, man. That was. <laughs> oh, my God. When Modern Warfare first came out, that's the first time I ever broke a controller. Because I was playing 2v2s, and I was grinding because like, I wanted the most to do, like, wagers one? and stuff. Huh? Like the most recent, like Modern Warfare. Yeah, yeah, the Modern okay. Warfare 2020. Okay. I was doing two v twos and I was grinding by myself to get better at like two v one situations and that kind of stuff. Oh, and oh my dude. god, I was just having a rough day, dude. Like no caffeine in my system, no freaking serotonin, no dopamine in my brain, and I freaking take my controller and I, like I'm sweat like. You seen that flight clip? I don't know if you know who Flight Reacts. Yeah, is, yeah. He's yeah. just <laughs> slamming his controller on the. De that's me, and that's the first time I ever broke a controller. Bro, I have these. <laughs> I have this twenty-five dollar headset off Amazon that I still use to this day. It's literally some Japanese name I can't even pronounce. I have probably broken three of these headsets, like that's crazy. within the last two years. Damn, I found. Like, I found a cheap controller brand on Amazon, which is dangerous, because now I know that if I smash this shit, I can just get a new one for, like, yep. 25 yep. bucks. <laughs> That's exactly like this. It's dude. terrible. It's a, I'm like, it's a terrible <laughs> habit to get into. But you get those people that... I got, like, a, I got like a $200 <laughs> <laughs> Xbox yep. controller. Hell no. Plus, then I also have the Elite controller. Uh, it, never, ever get the Elite controller. I didn't I'm just going to put that out there. I would, I would, I would, uh, yeah, uh, since, since no, controller. Like, <laughs> if I would have joined Stream Fiends a week before, I would have so had a funny. Cinch Gaming controller instead of a Scuff Gaming controller. I'm going to keep it 100% real with Because I saw the two buttons on the back. I was like, dude, that is so much more clean than having these. The like, giant ass panels? Right? That's what I'm saying, bro. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. So I'm going to keep it 100%. Z, when I initially went into your stream, right, I was expecting no overlays, no nothing. Like, just, just some gameplay, maybe a mic in the background. I went in, I was like, this kid's kidded. Like, he's like, yeah. yeah, like, this is what's up. We're expecting Tommy we, were, we were at the very beginning. Don't diss yourself like that. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the very he's beginning. We were, we were at the very beginning of everything for Stream Fiends when I first went in. Like, literally two days prior, we started everything. And in my head the whole time, I kind of knew, like, this kid's dope, right? Like, <laughs> not kid, you're older than me, but it's, it's habit to say that. This dude's dope, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I was just like, I kind of knew. And then when the, when we had everything set, I was like, all right, I'm going to push it to him. We'll see what he says. It's hard to push out something right away when you have nothing. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, I got this team going on. We don't have designs. We don't have a YouTube made. We don't have a Twitch <laughs> made. I hardly know what the hell I want to do in the next week with it, but <laughs> we'd love to have mm -hmm. you. No one wants to do that. So I waited until we had all those things set. We had media yeah. designs. I had a picture and what I wanted to do. We had goals. And it's like, that's when I started pushing it out to people. I'm excited because the recruitment phase now is going to be slowly getting more and more. You know what I mean? Like we're, I'm going to be focused on it more and more. It's time to it's time to open up more. You know what I mean? We've got the yeah, basic I'm... shit down. We got the the starter pack finished. I'm super. I'm so, just so excited, man. We're like six strong now, I guess. We got we got. I, I, <laughs> I think I'm still I'm still good here. Uh, ZLB, Tom, 
myself, Mod, Mod Sinister Swift, Drakey Orn, Drake. I pack now, and we signed Genesis. Yeah, but he doesn't. I he he's, he's still part of the roster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He know. does stream. He does stream. I kind of want to push it out onto him more. I want him seeing as we're so stream focused, stream fiends. I want the designs that he's working on for us. I want him to stream it. Him making that on Photoshop. I think it'd be really dope. Ah, yeah, like look. see our stream. Sweet. Like like to see our designs made from the ground up. Seeing as he's part of a streaming team, I think that'd be dope. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I plan to talk to him about it soon. So that's that's lit. I can't promise it'll happen if you're watching this now and hope to see that in the future. If it doesn't happen anytime soon, I apologize. But don't worry. Let me let me know, and I'll, I'll try and hop into yes. some After Effects to help out. Exactly. <laughs> Make yeah. up for the content, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, if he can't do it. I think Slash doesn't want to. I think we're slowly we're slowly coming to an end. I think we're All good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good one. This one is being recorded and will be ending the recording. I promise. <laughs> Are you sure not going to have to record tomorrow, Dude, former? I was so upset with Part myself. Three? You have no clue. The fact that we're even here doing this right now <laughs> oh is like God, crazy to me. Hey, um, this, this was easy. It was good. Yeah, this one this one this one flew really well. Like had a really good easy flow, but the fact Natural. that not only did I fuck that up, but hours later, right, I forgot to turn VOD on for the tournament. I was on a roll yesterday. I was pissed. Oh, yeah. um, Controller slamming uh, yeah. type day. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that that green screen is still still. Oh, yeah. Me too. Me and too. I, uh, I, I had to go by. You guys won't be able to see it. I don't feel like turning my camera, but there's a little fish tank here. This is new. No way. I had to go buy myself a little fish tank. I was going to buy a fish. But we have to treat the water for a week before we can introduce the fish into the water. So there will be a fish in there soon. I went out That's and I was like, having on your desk. I need a pet. I was like, I need something to look at when I'm pissed. I got me a buddy coming soon. Yes. Well, that hopefully that will make it to where you don't like rage a lot oh, because man. like fish, fish do not. They react hate, well. They hate the one. vibration on the desk and everything. Yep. So, yeah, dude. Yeah, no. So we're good. Now that I have something to care about on the desk other than the monitor that I'm pissed at right now, we're good. Mm -hmm. No. All right. I'm good Your to wrap monitor? there. What? what? All right, ladies, oh, I love yeah. my monitor, but like if I'm pissed, it's the first thing going. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was it's like, be, uh, what's going on? <laughs> All right, go all right, ahead. ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Stream Fiends podcast. This has been Tommy Trips, its former and ZLB Studios. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Make sure you use code Fiends when checking out at Rogue Energy Stream Fiends or code Fiends when you're checking out at Cinch Gaming Controllers. <laughs> go check out all the socials: Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, and buy that merch. <laughs> this has been the Stream Fiends podcast. Signing <laughs> off. Peace. Toodles. He's out. Uh -huh.